It doesn't matter how good of a kid he was because he was in the wrong place and he got shot in the back of the head. Now to our big story tonight. A family is searching for answers more than two months after suspects shot and killed their 17-year-old son. Police have already made one arrest in the case. But now, two months later, they're looking for two more suspects. Team 12's Colleen Sikora joins us live from Mesa Police Headquarters with a new sketch as heartbroken parents grieve. Colleen? Yeah, Mark and Caribe police are now releasing this sketch, saying a witness helped compile this together, hoping to find them and bring justice for Joseph's family. If pictures. <laughs> I like that one. We were trying on his first suit jacket. Our tangible memories. This is one of Joe's favorites right here. These are all his good friends right here in this picture. Jeff Seibold had a lot with his son Joseph. Would have took more if we would have known this was going to happen. And should have had more. There's his truck down there that he was driving that night. On February 17th, Joseph went to a neighborhood near Gilbert and Maine in Mesa at night to try and generate solar panel leads. You can be proud of him. I wasn't worried about him. I wasn't worried about this, that's for sure. When someone shot and killed him yeah. in his car. Yeah. Mesa police say three people were seen leaving the scene. One is charged, but they haven't found two others. Investigators now releasing a sketch of a person they say was involved. I just know that there's probably somebody out there that knows something. Joseph's parents. This boy was exceptional, exceptional. Hoping someone can come forward. We're going to miss Joe. Mesa police are asking if you have any information on Joe's death to please give them a call or to call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. We're live in Mesa, Colleen Sikora, 12 News.